Hello. Hmm. Hello, David and Connor. Hello. <laughs> I'm finally unmuted. I said that three times, but I was on mute, apparently. There we even go. Though tried, even though I tried to unmute myself, but that's okay. So I was talking to Jeff Collins earlier. Ed had sent an email that wasn't, wasn't this the one that was canceled? And no, it was the one two weeks ago. So um, I may try to give Ed a quick call and see if he's on his way. Um, uh, Jeff didn't say he wouldn't be here, so uh, but let me just kind of do one thing at a time here. Um, whoops, grabbing the wrong thing here. So I'll call Ed and then I'll call Jeff. What was that? <laughs> Sound like somebody's talking to a cat. That's me. And it's <laughs> not a cat. It's my dog. Come here, bud. Oh. Come here, bud. Oh, you want to go? Hey there, Red. I was hoping you would join the meeting tonight. I saw your email asking whether this was the one that was canceled. The one that was canceled was two weeks ago, so we are meeting tonight. But anyway, I think it'll be a relatively short meeting, but hoping you can make it. Um, talk to you soon, I hope. We're on Zoom, and Ashley had just sent the notice out uh, not too long ago, so it should be easy to find in your inbox. Thanks. Bye. So I will call Jeff Collins. Whoops. Can't hear you, David, if you're trying to talk. I can see you. Uh... Uh, you're, uh, you're, very, you're very, there's a lot of interference, David. We can tell well, you're talking, but it's a lot of interference. Sounds like a bad connection. Hey, wonderful. Okay, see you in a minute. Thanks. Bye. Okay, Rocky. So we got Jeff. Jeff's joining us, and we have Ed. We're not sure about Ed. Yeah, you know, we can see your mouth moving, David, but uh, if you go to the meeting notice that Ashley sends, there's probably a phone number. You might be able to dial in through audio. You might be able to just mute, mute yourself on the computer and dial into audio. Oh, he's trying something else. So, Connor, what's your doggy's name? This is Rocky. He's, Rocky. Uh, he's uh, going on seven months, and say, he's 66 we, pounds. So we met him. Didn't we meet Rocky? If he's no, going on you, seven. You, met, you met Ruby when she was about that old. Um, oh, okay. He's... He's bigger than she is now. Uh, he's going to be a little br a big bruiser, but he's pretty mellow, as you can see. <laughs> he's beautiful. Well, yeah. you know, he's, he looks like a lab, except for the fact that he's got all that white. 
Yeah, he's a black lab, and we think uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, the DNA test will let us know for sure. Are you doing a I'm DNA test? I'm pretty sure he's just a, ba- a black bear and a penguin. <laughs> there, there you go. All I'm, right, I'm sure. you all done. I'm, he's, okay. he's, he's a wonderful looking dog, though. Yeah, he, he's going to be big. I'm, I'm intimidated. I'll be back in one second. I'm going to let him out. Okay. So, so, so Jeff, Jeff did say he'd be here in a minute. Uh, and Ed, um, I, I guess the fact that he called to see if we were meeting was a clue. Uh, but anyway, let me just see if I, oh, four new messages. Hang on a sec. Let me see if one of them. Oh, can you resend it? Uh, I can't see. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to resend the Zoom link to... Um, uh, let me just forward, whoops, forward to Jeff, Jeff Collins, woodstockny.org, and Jeff, Rea Collins. Oh, there's Jeff. Hey, Jeff, I was just texting you back. I just sent you the link. I sent it to both IDs. But it it could have gone to spam. Every now and then things go to spam or junk. Perfect. See you soon. Bye. That's Jeff. He's going to join. So we shall just hang out a moment for that. And David, have you had any success for having us hear you? It's fine. I can't hear you. No, that, that's terrible. I can't even, I know, I can hear noise, but there's so much static. It's like the olden days, David. Connor wouldn't remember, but back when the TV was young, <laughs> which was, David, when you and I were kids and we were watching TV and you get so much static, you couldn't hear a thing. Um, it's, it's, it's like that. So, um, and we almost have Jeff. Oh, and Jeff, you're on mute. You may need I'm to unmute. Just, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm just working on some connection issues in the background. You may just see the top of my head, but I'm here. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we're going to get started. Although, um, so, so, and Jeff, you can hear me, right? I can. You can. Yep. I can hear you. Fabulous. Okay. Well, we're we're mo- we're mo- we're getting going a little slow today, um, and so who we do have and who we don't have, uh, we don't have Ed. Um, you know, for some reason Ed thought the meeting we canceled was this one when the meeting we canceled was the one two weeks ago. So he sent an email saying, "Wasn't this the one that was canceled?" A- and I resent saying, "Hey, we're having this meeting." Why well, sent with all the meeting materials anyway? So, but w- you know, but I know that Ed told us he was really busy. So, and I don't think we're going to have Michael again. Michael, I thought was going to officially resign, but he didn't actually officially resign, but he isn't here either. So 
Um, in any event, I'm not surprised we don't have uh, Michael. So in any event, we have four, so we can get going. Uh, I expect it to be a short meeting, and we can't hear David. Well, whenever he speaks, he sounds like the TV back when I was like six years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're hoping we can hear David before we're done, but we haven't properly heard David yet. Um, we, we, we know he's there. And um, anyway, so we'll just for now, uh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll share my screen because that's like the easiest thing to do. So I sent out agenda and I sent out minutes and... Um, and I'm just going to say share my whole screen because then whatever I want to show you will be there. And um, so for the purpose of uh, minutes, um, I, I've got them up and I won't be able to hear David if he does a makes a motion or seconds for the minutes. I only sent him out. I keep hoping that someday I'll be really prompt at this and that day hasn't come yet. So they went out about two hours ago. Um, uh, but the minutes, uh, adopt the agenda, approve the minutes. David Lax was our speaker. Uh, we discussed Andrew Campanelli's, the presentation that some of us went to, Connor and I went to, uh, so we did that. And then we talked about some future meeting plans, canceling August 10th, which we did, uh, hoping today to discuss Ed and David's proposed telecommunications zoning law changes. Unless we have Ed, unless we can hear David, we'll have to do that a different day. Uh, and then just talking about what we're doing in general. That was the uh, minutes from before. Um, anyway, those were the minutes. Uh, and then we adjourned. So do I have anybody, uh, Je Jeff Jeffrey Connor, who I can hear, does anybody- I will make a motion to approve the minutes as Thank presented. You. I'll Thank second you. it because I someone has to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All in favor, can we say aye? Aye. aye. Yeah. And we can't hear it. David, you want to give us some fuzz? If it's an eye, you can give us some fuzz. Or a big thumbs up, maybe. If you approve the minutes, David, you can give us a thumbs up. I think it passed. We said three. Three was enough to pass. Yep, that's a thumb. I just saw Yay. a thumb. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and then I will put up the agenda. And the agenda is, um, there we go, zoning agenda. Okay. So the plan for the agenda is, um, well, we already, uh, we are, uh, okay, so we already adopted, approved the minutes. Anyway, my hope was to talk about Ed and David's proposed telecommunications zoning changes. Um, I was going to talk about the housing subgroup committee activities, and uh, we can talk about the 13 comp plan items we're addressing to begin to determine what we want to include in our first zoning revision recommendation. Um, and then future meeting plans, which is a TBD, is just talking about, we can talk about item one, Hamlet area anytime and zoning revision. So we're just gonna talk about the general big picture about where we're going. That's really what we're doing today as well as talk about housing. So do I have anybody to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Yay. Uh, well, I can, I'm allowed to second it. I'll go ahead and second it. Uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. A thumbs up from Connor who's quiet now. David, you want to give us a thumbs up for the agenda? Yay. Yeah, yay. Okay. Um, so unless David calls in by phone, I think we're not going to hear David. So we may have to postpone um, talking about the telecommunication changes. Um, but what, um, so the housing subgroup, I went to, we'll, talk, we'll cover housing. Uh, Jeff was unable to go to the housing meeting and Connor I thought you were going to be there, but then you weren't there. Because um, I thought we picked the time that you said I can make it if it's at six and we made it at six and, and you weren't there. But anyway, so uh, I was there along with Susan Goldman, uh, Deborah Dewan, and Urena Kinlan. And so there were some materials that they wanted us to look at. And so there was a... There was like a hundred and so many, 160 page document or some, some huge thing that Urania said, well, you really ought to read the first 23 pages of it. And she sent me the first 23 pages. They were going to give some marked up documents, uh, uh, some marked up zoning laws of areas they thought should change. What they said they did not want to do and they have no plan to do, they have no plan to give us proposed language for the zoning law. And so what I said was, well, you know, 
we're, we're busy as a as a committee. We're focused heavily on telecommunications. We're focused, and, and what I will bring up here is I'll bring up the action plan document that I haven't shared for a while. But um, anyway, our summary of what our 13 areas are. I said that we're we're very busy. We're busy doing telecommunications, which is section six and 12. We're busy doing that. And we really is David and Ed. And then we're, um, Ed is also working on the natural resources aquifer. Connor, we've had the, a number of meetings on scenic overlay. And Connor, I, I made a note that you had said at the end of the last meeting, since David Lax was there, well, for scenic overlay, we had, um, we had Michael Veach and we had Cindy Muro previously, and now I've had David Lax. And I did hear Connor say he has the information he needs to focus on natural resources. So I would just put in, I just highlight in blue just for the heck of it, um, where we're active, where I see us as being active. So we're active with natural resources aquifer. We're active with scenic overlay trees. We're active as a committee with telecommunications. Uh, let's go for it there. And the, and the T. Um, and then we're active cell tower telecommunications as they, they go together, really. So we're really active there. We, um, we, we could dive into Hamlet areas any time because I had sent everybody a long time ago and I can resend it. I sent the document for the Hamlet areas and we could really dive into that. Um, we can dive into housing, but so the things that were, I use green here for now. Um, so the color code is housing and Hamlet areas. I, I feel like if we wanted with housing and Hamlet areas, we could do some parallel work and keep going with that because we've already got the housing committee working with us. And for Hamlet areas, you've already got the document that we can review. So we can kind of do one of two things. Um, and this is the discussion I said I wanted to have was do, do we want to say these things in blue sections three, four, six, and 12, we can say, Hey, we're just going to do those and put language together for that and try to run them in front of the town board. Or we could say, you know, we really do want to get active on Hamlet areas. It's more work in parallel. And it's really, do people have, do people have the time to focus heavily on the items in green? The items in black, we really didn't start yet. Um, yeah, they, they are all not yet started, right? And of course, item 13 says periodically review the zoning law. So we're just doing that just anytime we touch something, we're doing that. So item 13, I'm not really kind of counting with the color because it's in progress, but that alone isn't gonna translate into zoning law changes. So I guess my question now really is, as a strategy, do we just want to hone in on the four items that we're, that we're well down the road on? Um, because Ed said, Ed said that he has what he needs now for natural resource and aquifer because we've had campaigns that come visit. And Connor said that he's got what he needs for, for item four, scenic overlay trees, um, because we've had the different guests come and visit. So uh, I, I, I could definitely see the merits of uh, doing them. Uh, I, I don't know if that was just suggestion one at a time, but um, rather than, you know, getting law, like, you know, just sort of one after the other, after the other, you know, focusing on presenting and discussing one at a time, get them out the door and be able to focus on each one with, you know, sort of, Tick some yeah. checks off the box. Uh, uh, some t check some boxes. Um, just to put it out there, though, I have been experiencing, we'll say, some uh, unforeseen delays. We had a um, uh, COVID positive uh, in the household, and oh. I've been under quarantine for the last two weeks. It's really uh, disrupted things for us, right. and kind of. And I and while I do have a lot of the information I need, I, that especially from David Lax um, and um, Michael, the right. um, 
I had planned on having him come over to do a sample shoot uh-huh. to bring to the planning board so that I could get sort of my final assessment of what they thought. Right. You, you know, because I think the language is, you know, is not going to be too difficult, but I'm pretty, I'm about two weeks behind now on where I wanted to be right. mm-hmm. with this. So I'm going to be picking okay. that up again. Um, in the next week, uh, my my personal quarantine. I'm not positive myself, um, and so that's good. But I still had right. to go uh, quarantine, right. and my mine ends this Wednesday. Though we're mm-hmm. probably going to play it safe and not have anyone over at least until next Monday. Um, right. Well, hopefully, you said somebody in your house. I didn't think. Yeah, I thought there was a small number of people in your house. So, and I'm not going to ask personal questions. But in any event, I hope everybody's okay. Let me just say that. I hope everybody, yeah. because most people that have coronavirus, you know, uh, the, the majority of people have it, and you know, with varying degrees of uh, discomfort and you know whatever. But then they get through it, and then you got the cases of the, the deaths, which we can't forget. There's a lot of deaths, but but most people don't yeah. die from it. Most people do get through it and come out the other end. So that's yeah. why I hope for your household. She, Let me just she, say that. They're, they're, doing, they're doing well, but some of the people at their work uh, have been experiencing much more major. Right. Um, one, I know an employee is on a ventilator and one of their wow. clients passed away. Um, oh. oh, no. And it, so the, it's, it's, it's kind of sent a shock through the, uh, through the house. But um, sure. But that all that being said, um, I am uh, I, I'm I'm unfortunately at a similar place the last time we spoke with mm-hmm. the scenic overlay. But I know I know what I need to f- finish things up, um, and then I'll be coming back to you guys. I feel the same way in terms of I think I feel the same way I should say in terms of dealing with these in sort of smaller groups maybe and right. if Michael is in fact going to be leaving I would like to throw my hat in the uh, arena for uh, parking okay and okay. I suppose special permit uses because you know <laughs> yeah. planning board well I'll, ju- I'll just I'll put your name I'll add your name and I think he's uh it, 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 well, even if he's not, not a big deal. I, yeah, I, right, I, right. So I'll add your name just because then, then, and I expect his name will come off at some point, but yeah. it's, um, you know, and, uh, well, let me oh, ask and, you. Oh, and I'm sorry, Laura, I will be there this Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, okay. okay. My quarantine is over. My schedule is cleared. I've, um, I've scheduled a different shift for that day so I can be off at five. Okay. okay. Um, and so I intend to be at the housing committee meeting. Okay. Well, so, uh, yeah. And again, my, my thought is we have four things going and it would be good. It would be good to be able to hear David, first of all, but we haven't been able to hear David yet. Uh, David, are you, are you connected by phone yet? Or are you still connected by the computer? No, I try oh, to yay. get this. There we go. Me? That sounds great. Yay, David, we okay. can hear you. <laughs> so what yeah. do you want to hear? <laughs> well, well, I want to know. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, Jay Connor can sing lots of stuff. <laughs> Connor's really good. Um. So so uh, so yes. Yeah, so what I'm kind of proposing is we have four things in blue that we're already started on, and do we just say, hey, we just want to get them to a point where we've got language and we can start sharing those before we try to deep dive in other things. If we try to deep dive in 12 things, I think it's just going to be too much. You know, my thought is we're already deep diving in four. Let's try to progress a little further. But if the committee said, hey, we want to do these housing and Hamlet areas, we could because we have the we have a team to work with on housing and oh. Hamlet areas. That stuff's all kind of hot. We've got the information where we can get going. So it's a choice of do we want to be doing items one and seven now and try to do it in parallel with the other four? Or do we want to just do the four we've already done a deep dive in, try to get them to a good spot where they can start, we can have language and start the um, reviewing that. Do we want to re- do these things in blue first and then try to deep dive into these things in green? We can either try to do them at the same time or, and we're all, we are all volunteers here as we all know. Um, oh, I'm actually, I'm on the town board, so. But, but you all, I recognize you all are volunteers. So, um, you know, things happen when people have time to do it. And you all, you know, Connor, you're doing double duty because you're here and you're the planning board. 
Jeff, you're doing triple and quadruple duty at this point because you're on the library board and you're on the zoning board as an alternate and you're here. So, um, you know, so I get it. Things are going to happen in the speed they're going to happen. And oh, by the way, I said to the housing people, I said, when in that meeting that I was in last week, I said, if I said, it's OK, if you're telling me that you're not going to give us language that you're proposing because we're the zoning revision committee, you want us to come forth with the language. I, I'll accept that as a boundary. They're willing to give us documents that we should read. They're willing to give us marked up copies of the zoning law where the marked up sections where they'd like us to change the language in different areas. They're willing to do that, but they drew the line. They're not willing to write law, proposed law. They said, well, you all know how to do that. I said, well, correction there. The only one in this committee that's ever done that is Ed Sanders. Everybody else is figuring it out as we go along. So no, we're not trained on writing zoning law, but we've agreed to do it. So, you know, if they want to draw the boundary there, they're not going to write zoning law. But I said to them, I said, it's going to take us longer to get to it because as a committee, we're focused on other things right now. So I, get, I already gave them a heads up that their stuff is going to come after other stuff already on the plate. Um, it is what it is. So um, anyway, that's what I said. But if we as a committee say, hey, we do want to do it in parallel because it's really Ed and Dave working on the, um, uh, you know, working on the cell tower and the communications. Um, and, and then Connor, I know you're doing scenic overlay. Uh, you know, Jeff has expressed an interest in housing. I don't know, Jeff, if you wanted me to add your name on it. Uh, as far as the Hamlet areas, I've got my name on it. But at this point, my job is I went and I got the document we're reviewing. At this point, the committee needs to review it and come forth re with recommendations. But David and Ed might not want to stop and review that document because they're busy doing their other stuff. Um, uh, but then the question is, if some things go together, we should do it at the same time. So uh, if we've got, you know, the Hamlet areas was going to be changing some special use and some different things. So um, I don't know if we want to try to fold the number one because maybe we think the other things shouldn't be completed without it or even the housing. So I'm okay either way. We can either say, hey, we want to really start to try to charge and do one and seven while we do these other things we started, or do you want to just do these four things we started and get them further along before we try to, we're just spread too thin if we try to do more at the same time. Well, so, the thing is we got to get the language of the zoning law and that's what we've been looking at. Yes. Uh, you know, how other communities uh, write their law. And right. We, we also reviewed uh, Campanelli's tape. Oh, good. See what, uh, you know, where the problems may be lie. Right. The, you know, in the zoning. Right, good. So, I mean, but that's, I mean, you got to, to do the zoning law, to get the language, I guess you got to, we've been checking other communities and see how they do the language. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I, I guess we can say officially. So, so David, your thought is we should focus on the four we've started on and kind of get some momentum dealing with language yes. um, before we try to s expand. I, I agree with that. I, I think trying to expand is, is not a good idea right now. We need to finish what we got on our table. Uh, okay. So, so two, so three, four, six, and 12 move further along along before uh, before I call it a deep dive into others but I think the next areas to deep dive will be next deep dive I think will be one and seven one because we have the information we need to start and seven because we have another team willing to work with us but um, and I know that David is not, not David, uh, Ed had not yet given dates for the work he and David are doing, but I, I, I'm not, you know, we're all volunteers, we're all doing our best, so I'm not asking for hard dates anyway. And the same for Connor, who's looking at number four, I'm not asking for hard dates on that either, because again, we're all volunteers, but you're, as you're able, you'll, you'll bring that up again. So I do plan to go to the housing meeting on Wednesday. And so Connor, I'll see you there. Now, Jeff, did you want me to add your name to the housing items so when we get into it? Because I know you had an interest in coming. You would have been there last week, but you had something come up. Yeah, I'm interested in it, but I don't have time to do a lot right now. As, as you know, all of what I'm doing. Yes, as correct. As anybody. I don't really have a lot of time <laughs> between now and November 3rd, frankly. Right. So um, 
uh, but okay. So for now, I should not add your name because you're. Yeah, I can't make the meeting Wednesday either because of our Democratic committee meeting. I've got two other committees, another committee meeting to go to that night too. Right. Well, and I've got uh, right. So I'll be on the housing meeting at five, and I'll be on Democratic committee meeting at six. So. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, the double yeah. booking, you know, is is a you know, it's not it, it's not my first choice, but um, I'll do it. I, I I'm double booked two nights in a row, uh, th Wednesday and Thursday. I'm double booked, but anyway, so be it. So so I won't add your name now, but I know you had an interest. Um, yeah, definitely do. But it, yeah. So um, can I can I put your name in parentheses or yeah, well? Can, so you know that the big thing is um, all the elections that I'm helping with before November 3rd, and we just right. added the library bonds. It's one of those also, so that's right. some data too. And, um, well, I'll maybe say Jeff after uh, after November 3rd. Um, yeah, and that's understandable. So uh, definitely understandable. After, let's see if that fits better there. After 11.3. So, um, well, it's too narrow, right? Um, okay. But and I think that, so we're not diving into this right now anyway. So by the time we do, you, you might be able to, and I think that would be great for us to work together. I, I'd love to have us all work together on that. Um, so that's, that's fine. Um, so we're good. Let me do a save as. Um, okay, eight twenty-four. Okay. Um, alrighty. So we're. Um, just make my notes here. Okay. All right. So that's kind of really. I think I covered everything that I would hope to cover. Let me just go back to the, whoops. Let me just go back to the agenda. There it is, yay. Okay, so, um, well, there we go. We can hear David now. Uh, so David, you kind of gave us a quick status. You said you and Ed are looking at um, other lang zoning language of other, of other towns. Is there right. anything, David, that you wanted to say uh, for status for your telecommunications items? Well, what do you mean by status? So uh, we're still, Ed is actually writing the, the law. Okay. I'm researching all the other communities, you know. Uh, okay. Um, to see, you know, how they approached it. And I said, okay. Uh, and we don't want to, again, like I said, we looked at Campanelli's um, right. tape, not a tape, a presentation. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to overstep our bounds, like to, you know, put something in there that's going to be challenged. So, right, right, right. So. Well, and according to Campanelli, but you know, you don't know till you get to court on things, but he seemed to think that if we did have a telecommunications challenge, that our out of pocket would be the cost of our lawyer, but that they wouldn't be able to sue us for damages. Right. If we, well, yeah, but, but, but still, we want to be careful, right? Right. I mean, we just want to. Don't want to have to go to court, right? Okay, and you still don't have any. You don't have any idea. I mean, Ed's doing the writing without him here. He can't really tell us when he thinks he's going to be done. But I don't know if if you were to throw out a one month out, two months out, three months out, Christmas. Uh, oh, I don't know. You know, it shouldn't be too long. That's all I could say. Okay. As I looked at other communities. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, okay. the laws are written the same and. The other places, but they're they're taking in their state law as well as right. so we have to you know adjust for that. Right. Okay. Okay. All righty. So sounds good. Okay. So um, okay. So I think we've discussed everything that was intended to be discussed. My my next question is going to be: Do we feel like since uh, I know Connor is going to be focused on Section Four, and I and we know that Ed and David are focused on your stuff. Do you want to meet? Let me just pull my calendar up here. Um, so, so we're the second and fourth Monday. The second Monday of September would be the 14th. 
the fourth Monday would be the 28th. Do we want to meet on the 14th or would we rather give everybody who's writing stuff, would we rather skip the 14th and checkpoint again on the 28th, giving everybody four weeks to write rather than, you know, if we ask in two weeks how you're doing, you probably say I'm still working on writing my stuff. But I'm yeah, okay. That, I know that. that'll be the case with me because I've still got a schedule with Dave Lax, and that right. could that could that could honestly could take at least that much time knowing him and how that goes. Right. Okay. So so then, David, I'll ask you: Would you rather meet in two weeks and give us an update, or would you rather meet in four weeks and give us an update? Uh, either way, I don't. You know. <laughs> I don't care which way we go, actually. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't know if there's any benefit to us hearing, you know, I, I want to be supportive of every effort. And so if meeting is supportive of your effort, then we'll meet. If not meeting is more supportive of your effort, meaning you can use that time doing your writing, you know, as writing and you're do, doing research. If not meeting is more supportive of your time, then we won't meet. So, um I'll give it to you, David. Would, would the best use of your time two weeks from now be to meet, to share how, what your status is, or would the best use of your time in two weeks be to not meet so you can well, focus I don't, on? I think we could meet. You know, I don't think okay. it's a big burden. I don't know about anybody else. Okay. Well, I know Jeff. certainly don't mind right. meeting. I just won't have anything okay. Okay. likely well, to bring. Well, 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 we'll meet in two weeks, and it really be a status meeting kind of like today. It'll probably be a short meeting. Uh, and that's good. So our next meeting will be in two weeks um, to see how we're doing. And again, the value of it would be if there's anything that anybody's working on for these deep dive things that we are focused on, well, if anybody needs support in any way from any other committee member, I want to make sure we're here for that. And we may have more news on the housing because Connor and I are going to the meeting Wednesday. So uh, who knows? You might have some more news on that. Okay. I covered everything that I had hoped to cover is there anything anybody else thinks we should be covering today? No. I'm good. Okay, so I think our meeting started honestly around 640. Anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. Hey, Connor, anybody want a second? I'll nice. second it. Yay, well, I think I heard, I heard David and Jeff at the same time. So yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, I'll give it to David 1. because he, he David had to be silent for the first half of our no meeting. Problem. So. Okay. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, Ashley, for helping us. And uh, with that, our meeting is adjourned. And thank you, everybody, for being here. Okay, you have a good thanks. one. Be safe, everyone. <laughs> you too. Absolutely. That's the most important thing. I'm leaving the meeting. Leave me.